Cardies. It's Sunday afternoon after Chris McNally's Countdown to Christmas uh, movie has aired. This is Heart to Hearties, the Valley Voice Christmas edition. And we're going to just pop in uh, now and again when our When Calls the Heart stars are on Christmas movies um, to share our impressions of their fabulous holiday movies. I'm Marg Stark. I'm here in San Diego on a very hot Santa Ana day. Crazy. And I have with me. I'm Kim McDonald. I'm from uh, Barrie, Ontario, Canada. I see you're wearing red, Marg. So am I. I've got my Hallmark Channel Christmas uh, t-shirt on. So uh, Go Chiefs. looking Go forward Chiefs. to it. I love it. Oh, uh, this is Dawn Bateman. I'm from North Carolina, and it is kind of like fallish and lovely. So love these last two or three days, but welcome all. From our New England hearties, we have a special guest with us today. Welcome, Kathy Peterson. Yay. Glad to have you, Kathy. Where exactly, remind me where in New England you are. So I actually live in two states. I live in Vermont and I live in upstate New York because I work in upstate New York near the Canadian border. So in Plattsburgh, New York, but okay. I live in central Vermont. So I get all the beautiful foliage here. It is absolutely a peak right now. It's incredible. 70 degrees. It's gorgeous here. Oh, uh, yeah. loving okay. it. Okay. Well, we're so right sorry. Now, we're... At this moment, I am in Plattsburgh, New York. Okay. Sorry we're bringing actually, you inside, but um, on a gorge as well. It's seven o'clock there. So I guess you've gotten your leaf peeping in for today already. <laughs> yes. I've actually well, been to Plattsburgh, uh, Kathy, believe it or not. I know it's not a big place, but I've been there. It's right on Lake Champlain. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Kathy, tell us how you're doing because you were at HFR and unfortunately took a fall um, outside and we know it was a little bit of a harrowing experience for you. Tell us how you're doing. It was. Well, um, here's the evidence that's left still. So, um, you know, first, I'd really like to take the opportunity to thank um, the Hardy's Angels that have been there for me, especially Heather and Debbie Wesselis from New Brunswick. Um, that I had not met prior to this event. And, you know, this, this Hardy's family is incredible. And it really just highlights how much love is in this group. It's amazing. So after I fell, I immediately knew that I broke my wrist. And they stepped right up as different people were trying to get me ice in a sling and everybody was stepping up. Um, they offered to drive me um, because they had a rental car and they had their passports and they said, well, we can drive you down to Washington so you can get an emergency room in the U.S. that will take your insurance, et cetera. And, and I said, really, you do that for me? And I said, you take me and you won't just leave me there. And they're like, well, no, we're not going to leave you there. We'll stay there with you, you oh, know? And, and so they did, they drove me down and they stayed there. We didn't get back till quarter to one in the morning. They never complained. They, they were just the most gracious, wonderful. They just exemplify what Hardy's are all about. And, you know, even the entire time that I was at HFR, there were so many different people that I did not know that stepped up in one way or another to try to help me um, navigate. You know, at that time I had a, a, a thing all the way up past my elbow and it was very difficult navigating and everybody was just so kind and so helpful. And it, it just truly, it tells the hearty story. And so, um, and then even after I got back, people have been reaching out, sending me flowers, all kinds of stuff. You know, it just continues. It's just amazing. I am so super grateful. And now where I'm at in my recovery, um, I had surgery on September 26th. They put in a, a plate and screws and two pins that are sticking out of my wrist underneath the cast. And those will come out this Thursday, thankfully, okay. finally. And then they'll recast it. And then for a few more weeks, and then after that, I get a custom brace and then I start hand therapy. So the damage was uh, quite a bit worse than we expected. And and so um, uh, the recovery is going to be a little bit longer than expected, but I'm doing well. And I, again, I am just so super thankful to um, all the individuals that have, have reached out to me, have cared for me, have, you know, shown their love, their hearties love. 
Um, and, and especially again, Debbie and Heather Wessel is for taking me down to the emergency room to get the proper care that I needed right then and there. Um, I am eternally grateful. It's quite a story um, and quite an amazing tribute to the Hardys and to you for just carrying on throughout the weekend and yeah. through a I wasn't going to leave. I wasn't going to give up. No. I, <laughs> I was super grateful to be there and to have been chosen and, and, and to get to experience, you know, all of it. And then and then experience all of this caring and love. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you're doing well and we'll keep you in our prayers for Thursday as you get those pins out and continue your recovery and just, yeah, gratitude for Heather and Debbie too. That's just yeah. amazing story. So um, we're gonna start off talking about um, holiday crashers. Um, it's it's the opening weekend of countdown to christmas i i've looked online i believe that there are 32 new countdown to christmas movies but then there's i think either seven or nine more with the hallmark mystery channel as well so you can look forward to new Christmas movies, Hardys, literally every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday through the season. Um, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood, Halloween. Yes, no, totally. And we started off, in my opinion, very strong this weekend. Um, Robert Buckley last night, um, I mean, two nights ago, and then Chris McNally last night and then tonight we have carlo marx from chesapeake shores so it, it's it's been a great kickoff and how cool to have chris the opening saturday night of countdown to christmas i mean it's just it's like hearty heaven so all right so we're gonna we're gonna together rank uh, we've we've taken our notes we've watched the movie and we're gonna have a spirited conversation about holiday crushers from what i can gather all right, let's start off with chemistry. Yeah. And I, I think that we have to rank, this movie was a lot about friendship as well. So, you know, Brie and um, Tony had chemistry as well as the couples having chemistry. So why don't we, why don't we rank both? Um, Kathy, you're going to start us off. C okay. Chemistry between the friends and chemistry between, you know, our couples, between, um, Vinny and Bree and between Justin and um Tony. Tony and Bree work in like an invitation, the nicest print shop you've ever seen. It's an invitation like, no. <laughs> invitation <laughs> shop for all the high-end parties get their yeah. invitations printed there. And um, so they are trying to sort of figure out their careers. And Tony at one point went to Harvard Law, but then she had a panic attack during the bar exam and hasn't hasn't returned to law. And Justin, um, played by Chris McNally, is an executive um, who happens to need some legal advice. And uh, he, his good his friend is Vinny, who plays a valet. But there's a twist to come. So those are the four main characters yeah. we'll cover. Like okay. wedding crashers moot meets christmas yeah which i never saw did you see wedding crashers i did okay is it similar similar without all of the the language in right <laughs> okay hallmark version okay all right cool all right kathy start us off with chemistry rank at nine one to ten ten being the highest uh, one all right one. so um the the friendship chemistry i think was right up there like eight um okay. they I felt like, you know, these were clearly good friends that had gone way, way back in time and were there supporting each other. And you could see that in the scenes too, the friendship scenes on the bed, having their little snack attack and, and you know, all kinds of um, different scenes throughout the movie. You really saw that, that, you know, they were together throughout the whole movie. So I really thought that there was really good chemistry between the two of them yeah. and that they, um, yeah, it, it was well, well played. Um, Vinny and Brie, um, that one, I didn't feel as much chemistry between the two of them. There was, sometimes I felt like there was, and sometimes I felt like there wasn't. So okay. I'd probably have to give them like a six. Um, and then, um, 
for Tony. For Justin and Tony. Justin and Tony. Yeah. So um, I felt those sparks flying. I thought, I, I mean, I really, you know, there were, there were several scenes where I thought it was steamy, um, just the way they were looking at each other. And Chris just was kind of like exuding that or, uh, you know, yes, just, he was exuding Yes, the, I, I really felt that. And, mm -hmm. and I, I could feel like the, the connection there between the two of them. Um, so uh, I, I have to rank that pretty high. I'm going to go with an eight on that too. Okay. Um, you know, it's not as high as some others I've seen, but, but I felt it. Okay. All right, Kim, we're going to you on chemistry between the friends and between, uh, between Justin and Tony. All right. I also found the, uh, friendship chemistry, very believable. Um, I thought they, you know, really got along well. I really liked actually the uh, back and forth between Bree and Vinny. Um, I felt that, um, I, well, anyway, there's there's more to it, but um, yeah, I thought that they did uh, quite well. And Give it a uh, number. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it a nine. Okay. And then uh, Justin and Tony, also did well uh you know he'd find her across the room uh the whole awkward moment with the um martini glass with the coconut rim whatever that blue thing <laughs> was uh was the frosty cute. cocktail yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly um and uh you know that first kiss well uh, that wasn't a hen peck <laughs> so uh i i'll rate that up there as well um an eight. Okay. Dawn. <laughs> uh -oh. The lion's dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. The lion's dead. Oof. Oh, dear. So, first of all, like the friendship, I think that those are, those two were the main couple because I mean, screen time, you know, it was more about their relationship, I would think, because of what they experience throughout their lives. And, you know, so I love them together and I'm going to say nine. And for the couples, so I just will preface this. I love Chris. Just love him. Didn't feel it at this point for me. I just, I don't know. I don't know what the situation was. I mean, they were, they were nice. They were lovely. I, it's not to me, it was just like, boom, it was, it was not that to me. I didn't receive it <laughs> like that. Okay. So I, you know, I'm thinking six ish, um, for, for that situation. I mean, because they're, they're lovely actors. I know. And, and Chris looked really good. It's not, it's not the, but it's, if we're talking about chemistry, chemistry. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, and then wow. uh, the other couple, what, what Bree and what was the other? Um, Vinny, Tony, and Bree. Oh, Vinny is the guy. Is the guy? Vinny, Vinny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I love them. I, I you know, mm -hmm. I. It was not something that it was early, but then when they connected, connected, then I, I felt their chemistry. So you know, I would say about eight for them. So that was my experience watching them okay wow i did worry i did Sorry. think that like the chris the chris fans in the group i was like are they gonna find that this is enough chris for them because he did not get as much screen time in the not room thank heavens we're going to vermont to his lodge because we're gonna have to spend some time with him you know exactly. um but um but uh, did you guys notice who did the casting oh i didn't candace uh, elzinga so oh, okay. oh, really? casting director who does when calls the heart and I uh, chef's kiss to her. I think the casting in this was amazing. I think I, I suspect that they're, this was geared towards a younger audience that they're, that this was really, you know, going at the target audience was younger. Um, and I just thought, I, I thought Brie and Tony, I, I thought their chemistry was, I would give them, a nine. I, I think Brie almost stole 
every scene she was in. Yes, I agree. Uh, I couldn't totally keep my agree. eyes off her. It was like, it was really similar to Rosemary. Like she was so funny and so good. I just thought, I just loved watching her. Yeah. So um, I thought that was great. And I, I totally went for the chemistry, the way that he was looking at her. Um, Talk about Tony and... Tony and Justin. I great chemistry. I... I thought the twirl at the end. I thought the her. Oh, that was you know, cute. That her, was cute. like yes. I, when she I, goes I, down the aisle and she sees him and she stumbles. The she's the maid of honor. She stumbles yeah. the way down and just there was one point where he turned and looked at her and I was just like, okay, my just my breath just left my chest. Like I don't oh, know. really. I, that I, was I, so. Oh, really. I, I totally was into it. So I was going to give it a nine, but now I feel like I got my score down. Well, you know what? All of those things that you just talked about. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Chris is so, Chris is so Chris. I mean, he has just such a sincere joy. goodness to him. I mean, and I, it's just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel it. Like, I, I felt like when I, um, oh, we all have dogs. So don't worry, Kathy. Um, I, <laughs> I didn't like in the commercials. I didn't love the long hair on Chris, and then when I got into it, I was like, "Oh, he looks fantastic!" Oh, that was that to me, fantastic. Immediately, I'm like, yeah, oh, "Fantastic!" No, I it looks it. fantastic. I, and I was, yeah. So let's move on to talking about Christmas vibes. Like, did it feel? You know, was the styling, the costuming, all of that? Because we, you know, we spend so much time talking to Barbara and to Sarah and and examining that on One Calls the Heart. How did you feel about that, you guys? What's Kathy? You can start us off. What what yeah, what did you I, like? I loved the Christmas vibes. I I, okay. I mean, I thought it was there through the whole movie, right? So, um, it, you know, the trees, that the deck decorating the the it it was all about christmas so i give that a 10 i mean it was i i felt like it was there from beginning to end maybe well i mean the end was the the weddings but right. but um but i do think that it definitely had the christmas feel the christmas vibe all the holiday parties and you know how many parties did they go to it was hysterical loved it um yeah 10 10 for okay. me all right Kim, Christmas, Christmas vibes. Oh boy. <laughs> what Christmas vibes? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it seemed like Christmas was just a also red. I I get that Hallmark is trying to go outside the box. It's not the formula. Um, you know, there wasn't any an ice skating session or a Christmas festival or a bake-off in sight. Some more? <laughs> but they, they skied. They oh. did s'mores. They did no, okay. cookies. So we had mom baking cookies? <laughs> we had that weird Santa yeah. that, that they that the dad- at, go to Christmas, and Tony, Jim, come yeah. on. And and then like and the the girls, I was like, wow, these are two broke girls working in a shop and they have the best wardrobe to go to all these parties. I mean, where did they get this wardrobe from? I love it. I'm jealous, but uh thrift stores. Yeah. Some I saw somebody comment on on a post last night, thrift stores. Yeah, the magic of television. They did true, have a true. lot of clothes. They did great you know. purchase from Poshmark. All right, good. exactly. Yes, exactly. Okay, so we've gone from phenomenal Christmas field to no Christmas field. Don, what are your thoughts? <laughs> Oh my word. Well, I can't, I don't know to follow that. Um, <clears throat> so early in the movie, and I think that's the reason why I had the, the chemistry, not, not great too, but because it's in the office, it was just that single tree and that was it. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're, you know, I'm just, I'm just telling you that it's Christmas. <laughs> that's right. the thing that I was like, 
Right. That to me was kind of funny. Right. But for, um, you know, all the things that they did, like I was saying, skiing, the s'mores, the, you know, the lodge, you know, all that stuff. But there was no festival. So, yeah, maybe that's the part of the uh, the formula that was not there. But, you know, there was a wedding. So, uh, but I loved, so loved Chris's plaid sur- uh, suit. I yes. did like that. You see it two or three times um, throughout the whole movie. But it is like one had um, with the burgundy tur- turtleneck, I think. And then there was not, there was one that was a brown one. So it was, I think it's the same suit, but it was um, fashioned in a way that, you know, you could not see that it's the same thing. But yeah, he, I loved his, his wardrobe. And then yeah. the girls, um, I think, you, Kim, that's funny. It's true. I mean, it, it, it was like, okay, do you want snowflake? Or what was the racy red, whatever. I don't know what the the words were, but. Um, right, Santa, something, I don't know, but it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Flashy yeah, Santa that, or that, something. That, that, that line was funny. That was funny. A good, good line. Yeah, there so, were some um, really funny yeah, lines. So, yeah, I, I, I got the Christmas vibes. I mean, it was. Um, it was a good start for the the holiday, you know, before Halloween, you know, it's a yeah, good, I think they're just tiptoeing. You know? Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, I uh, hmm. I really love I mean, my I don't live in Vermont, but <laughs> when they went out when they stepped outside of that, well, first of all, I thought the lodge was nice. And then when they stepped outside, um Tony and Justin, with the lights and the whole thing and the trees it took my breath away. I thought it was gorgeous. And um, I loved the themed dinners that Brie threw. The little, we're pretending we're at St. Moritz in Switzerland and she had the Swiss flags and the fondue and how she talked about how her mother, they didn't have very much when she was growing up. And so her mother to create this, you know, this, magic around Christmas would have these little themed dinners I loved that I thought it was so sweet um there was one uh what is the actress's name um Lindsay Fonseca Fonseca, yeah Yeah. she was in like a Peter Pan collar that had this little detail with this red sweater just beautiful I I got the Christmas feel I I really did I mean it wasn't you know, I didn't get it. I didn't get a Christmas carol. I didn't get it. It was definitely more secular Christmas vibe. Yeah, I think that's, you know? it was not traditional. Yes, it was not a traditional, not, you know, nothing and, about this movie was traditional, really. Exactly, was, exactly. Yeah. But I do like the whole, um, oh, the crashers when they did their, their per, new person, personality their new oh my gosh the personas were yeah maybe when she was doing the doula when she was the doula and she was (laughs) i was like can you really you know did you do google it before you even get to the party it was also almost like they were just doing it at home oh on the fly oh i think it was after a few cocktails no doubt (laughs) after a few frosty cocktails they just (laughs) went with this persona yeah Okay. But I did like, I don't know if you noticed that one moment because they were obsessed with all the swag that they were going to get at these parties. And then they gave away their swag bag um, to somebody that they saw on the street. And I thought that was kind of, they gave it a little heart, you know? Yeah. That was nice. Okay. So I felt like Christmas was just thrown in there. Like this could have happened at any time during the year. And well, except for the skiing part. Um, but and it just happened to be at Christmas. I Got know. it. Interesting. Yeah, okay. That was weird. All right. So so let's let's go to the script now. Let's talk about the script. So this was um, uh, Tracy Andreen has like thirty three writing credits. I mean, she's like a, a, you know clearly very experienced, and her partners also had credits. Um, she wrote. Two Tickets to Paradise, Ashley Williams and Ryan PV. I know I've seen that one. It's amazing. Um, so I I thought it was an incredibly ambitious script. I thought it was very tight. I thought they did a great job with it. I really loved um, 
I really loved because to play with the idea of crashing parties, it's well, first of all, it's it's moving away a bit from the formula and it's it was urban, you know. I mean, it wasn't right. like you were yeah. seeing a lot of skyscrapers, yeah. but this was not your average like go to a small town have the christmas experience and maybe that's why kim you're reacting the way it is it was definitely an urban story and i i don't think we've ever seen an ambulance ambulance chasing you know lawyer before on a hallmark movie i just love i <laughs> love that the i thought that was hysterical he, I thought, he was great i thought it set the tone for the offbeat comedy of it really well and that I, I, I really love who directed it yes it was directed by michael robinson i'm not familiar with him okay. michael robinson is the director so i loved mom's themed cookies i'll go with that oh that was hysterical so every year <laughs> so this mom would make cookies probably you know to give away to vendors or or clients right. or whatever and they always it was always santa with a different injury right yeah well, oh. that line, you know, what injury does it this year? You know, I'm like, okay, that funny. was funny. I just, I think they kind of poked fun at themselves and I really liked that. I And I also think it played with a little bit of class issues, you know, um, and I kind of liked that too. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was interesting. All right, Kathy, thoughts on the script? Yeah, I loved the script actually, because I thought there was so there was so much depth and so many levels to the script. So you talked about the comedy already, which there was lots of that. But then there was also the family like so when when they were making fun of her father in the commercials and then she you know took that to heart and defended her father and so you had the family in there and then and then um i loved um all the different settings that were in there whether it was skiing and again the comedy and the skiing where she was asleep in the truck and had her timer set and and then she had chips down her shirt or whatever her jacket and and you know, got out there and threw snow on herself to to go into the lodge. I mean, I, I just you know, there was so much comedy in the whole thing throughout. But but at the same time, you had all the romantic moments, you had the family moments, you had the wedding, you had the choreography of the dance at the wedding. Yes, you had. I, I love the fact that. Um, the first kiss happened at the first hour of the movie. So wow, between, look at you timing it. That was between Vinny and um, and, and Brie. Mm -hmm. And then because um, normally in a typical Hallmark movie, it's at the very last five minutes that you get the mm -hmm. kisses and the romance, the real, the real, you know. And yet, and and then even with a, um, with Tony and and Justin, it was at an hour and a half into the movie. So you know, wow. when they had their first kiss. So, um, so the scripting, I thought, um, it didn't get boring. I, I mean, right from the get go, I was engaged in the movie and, um, it kept me going the entire movie. I did not get bored. I did not, you know, think off about other things. It was, it, I was engaged during, from beginning to end. And yeah. I think the script did that, right. Because it was, it was continually going on and, and, and the story, like you, you also mentioned um, about, you know, the class, like with Vinny and with, with um, Brie and um, how that, that turned out. Um, so that was kind of interesting as well. And so that was clever, um, I think. Yeah. 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 And so, I did not and, see and, that coming at all. No. And the multiple love, so multiple love stories, two love stories in one, you know, in one, movie um I, I just think they they nailed it they really nailed it in this movie on so many levels so that's loved it, Love it. okay kim come on critic <laughs> um i love all the points that you made kathy i thumbs up with all those my biggest problem um and it's a personal thing for me was the lying. I mean, these were not the white lies that they were telling us were going to happen. These were major, major lies. And I was actually uncomfortable for one hour and 45 minutes. Wow. So uh, it, that did have an effect on how I felt the rest of the movie. 
Um, so you weren't able to just let that go. It definitely no. weighed on you. Yeah. Yeah. I well, it weighed and, on Justin for a full year. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And I feel if uh, if this was real life, it would have weighed on Justin more than a full year. Okay. Didn't yeah, she, never, that, she never that said believable. she was a lawyer. No, she no, didn't. It's true. But... And and she and even nor said did she ever received payment. She also she, didn't take payment. She and did she say she was she a, wasn't an Olympic skier, though. Like, yeah. I mean. Well, she like, got had a doula. She got uh, caught. That's the reason why. I mean, uh, right. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. She did get caught. Totally got caught. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like I, I was uncomfortable right from the moment that they, well, that they walked in the front door instead of going to the back door. I was actually with those invitations at the very first party. I was uncomfortable. So I love that. I love that. <laughs> I am a rules follower. You guys know this. <laughs> Yeah. So don't you, know. uh, you a, a rules follower cannot write drama because you have <laughs> okay. to, you know, as um as we've been told, you know, you have to chase that character up a tree and then throw a rock, throw rocks at the character. So yeah, that's I, it. I do have to say, I thought that was very clever how she got out of the skiing thing by by saying that she was going to go on those double black diamonds that or whatever that <laughs> well, nobody least, else would go on that was clever that was lucky what that, that was, was. Lucky. you know she was not an experienced i skier so at least she yes. knew stuff right for that one but oh my gosh well are you, go ahead. Are you okay with me yeah so i loved it i loved it because all of the things that you talked about, Kathy, and also about Kim. I agree that that lie was really heavy. I mean, and she had two, so many um, opportunities to say mm -hmm. something. And I'm like, okay, mm, that's not a great choice. Not a great choice. But the humor, the um, pacing, um, you know, all that stuff that you, and I, that's the reason why I was asking about the director and even the editor. So, you know, I think the yeah. story just moved smoothly with what we had, you know, and, um, I did love the whole, uh, <laughs> making up all of their jobs, all of their, you know, and because the, the chemistry with those two girls were so good, that's the reason why it worked. Yeah. And you know, so the script was, I think, um, really clever. And I did like that. Um, you talked about class as well, but you know, you, and I, I didn't really, to me, that was not an, a surprise that the val valet, uh, that's, a, that's the first time to popper kind of, I was like, I'm friend. sure he yeah. has a CEO for something. I use like that to me, but to me, that was kind of, um, kind of obvious, but, uh, but yeah, I think the the script was really really good. I think that's it was just different, and I I I did love the concept and, um. But the whole that you know a year later we have in the wedding. I love the wedding. I love the dance. So did to I. me, it was the um, Bollywood, you know, Hallmark Bollywood, and it reminded me of Atlanta, the um, Aladdin, the live. Yeah um movie and i'm like you know it's so cute so i love that i love the you know getting more um oh like diversity yeah, cultural yeah, pieces yeah, it's not just diversity it was mm -hmm. something that they explored it was just right. not a comment no it's not like, you know they were invested in that so i i love that um part of that as well so yeah, yeah, totally. I thought um, I had I wrote down a couple of my favorite lines um, that Vinny said to Bree. No one makes me feel more like me than you do. I love that. Um, and then, of course, Tony saying to Justin, when the lie is revealed, you know, it wasn't all a lie. That was beautifully done. Um, so I thought there were some really I loved him saying to her. um, Vinny, when he talked about his family, you know, that overachieving in this culture is, you know, that, he, you know, he had all these family members who had done these 
you know, impressive things that he really wanted to choose his own path. Um, so many things I thought it was, I wish they had, ex they had shown us a little bit more of the crazy puppet show. Cause it looked like it was really funny. It was this weird puppet show that they went to. And I think they were trying to do tiny Tim with a lisp or something because they were like a Turkey with all the twimmings, you know, I, I mean, it was, it was cute. It was really cute. I mean, there were so many funny lines The um, I loved um, when Chris and Justin in the beginning is looking up uh, Tony and his friend is like Stalker's Cafe, you know, and he like shuts the laptop really that fast. Was, that was the first time that moment in that office was just like, that was the one that I was like, oh, I'm, I'm hooked. Yeah. Um, and that yeah. was just that you know the whole the whole idea of stalker and he saw someone that was interesting to him but it was yeah. just it was not a um like a conversation it was just like thunderbolt Ooh, i yeah. like her yeah <laughs> yeah no it was a stalker yeah um i just thought i i thought there were so many cute cute lines um so anyway uh the uh, Our, the fact that he crashed the wedding at the end, you know, the, the table yeah, was, turn and then he crashed was, the wedding. Yeah. I, I thought it was also great. Okay. Uh, Kim, did you have something or are we moving on to all the feels? I just wanted to mention uh, you you talked about Sebastian, his assistant yes, that was right. uh, checking him out. Um, Sebastian actually was on uh, When Calls the Heart. Really? Yeah. In, what uh, season? What, season 10 episode one he um walked up to um lee and gave him a sweater that his wife had made and he was a new employee at the mill wow and um joseph came up and said well when did you hire that guy anyway so oh, <laughs> his, his name was bridge yeah oh my gosh so that's, that's all we've seen but um but Good that, job, yeah Kim. <laughs> seriously so, you know maybe we have a chance to see uh sebastian in his brent um mill role yet again. yeah and no. sebastian was important because he's the one who like told us that uh justin had had somebody lie to him before so then we planted that seed of why that was significant and especially hurtful and yeah, mm -hmm. taken advantage of and all that stuff. Okay. Well, that character was um, connecting dots. He, yes. He was red. And it Protective. was a lot of screen time, but he was the one that versus a narration or yes. whatever other antics that you could do in a script. He was really pivotal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to all the feels. Um, so there's a... Um, Gosh, I can't remember the name of the influencer right now. There's somebody who does a lot of reviews of Hallmark movies. Um, well, actually, she does. I think she tries to watch all the movies on all the channels. Um, oh, and yeah. she always judges it by whether uh, these movies make her cry, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So, OK, so let's go back to our, our numeral system. Um, Kathy, tell us in terms of all the feels how you would how you would rate it in terms of. Well, you know, no crying in this movie for me, for sure. Um, and so um, all the feels, I mean, lots of laughter, obviously yeah. lots of laughter. And, uh, you know, from that perspective, it, it, it's a high score, nine, nine, ten on the laughter side comedy. Um, the in intensity of the um, the romance, et cetera. Again, there I'm going to go a little bit lower, um, but but not in a bad. I'm not saying it's bad because I loved I loved the romance. I mean, Chris with his longer hair, and you know, I mean, I I felt like whoo, he's hot, <laughs> and and <laughs> and also, I mean, with you know his it, again the chemistry with um with tony and 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 then between brie and Vinny and and then the friendship and so forth so um you know that that the feel of the of the friendship the love the romance all that um you know eight eight nine um okay. but uh um and and then um the the happy feel right with the weddings at the end and and the happy ending and um 
all, all of that and the you know it wasn't uh there there wasn't a downer you know anywhere really i mean it was it so you know that was right up there too 910 um and uh um what else on feels um i mean you know, I didn't think there were really any real sad moments. I love the family feel again, that family feel about defending your family and, and, um, family connections. Yeah, and, and she so eventually forth. does go to work with him. She's in yeah. the commercial. And does the commercial herself. Right. And mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. And, and even Chris, you know, or Justin talked about, you know, um, family, but that he didn't want to go to his family for Christmas because the sisters would give him a hard time about still being single and on and on and on. And, and so you get an insight of the family life of really all of those main characters. And, and so, you know, that was pretty well done and I think pretty well up there. So overall, you know, a real happy, funny, um, loving movie for me. And uh, so I have to rate it pretty high. Okay. Kim. I guess I'm gonna go with uh, average and say I uh, say a five. But um, like Kathy, some parts were high and some parts were low. So uh, I loved the wedding and um, really had the feels for that. It's you know just to see her come in and him waiting for her, Kenny waiting for her at the altar and then you know joining together. That just um, that it was definitely the Hallmark feels. I didn't feel Hallmark Christmas feels so much. Um, the one scene where they gave their goodie bags to the the couple that were out walking their baby, that was about it. That's all I could find. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right, Don. <clears throat> That's a good one though, Kim. What I mean, I would love to do that. Um, yeah. So the feels, don't cry. Why well, didn't cry? Um, I laughed. I enjoyed it. It was um, a great uh, kind of first movie for the for the season. Um, and usually these movies are not um, like the highest of you know people don't really watch it um throughout the whole season uh some but not all you know so i mean i i thought it was lovely it was um i was you know just amused and i i was laughing yeah and i enjoyed it so it but it, it was if it's compared to I don't even know what the movie five more are. minutes. It's not a five more minutes. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah. It just, no. It was, it was it's just. It's not a Godwing Christmas. Perfect. No. Uh, a Christmas movie. card. No. No, it's not a Christmas card. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just. It was just a level setting. Okay, this is where we're going. We get. You know, this is new territory. Yeah. No festivals. No. You know, it was not a typical um, Christmas movie, and. And it was lovely, but you know, as as the feels thing, I would you know, average out maybe six or seven for me. Yeah, I, I'm totally with you guys. I think it's visually appealing, very funny. I think it was uh, light. I'm a Zumba instructor in, in my extra life. So anytime you throw in a Bollywood dance, I'm, I'm right there. I'm right yeah, there. Yeah. It's fabulous. Um, but uh, I thought, I think just a solid script, solid casting, um, and just a, it was just fun. It was yeah. just fun. And I liked the familial. But, yeah. Long hair, plaid, uh, plaid suit. Love it. Ten. Very visually appealing, shall we say. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. But we, and we've talked about this a little bit. Something, so something new, how did it veer away or how did it stick with the formula that we've come to expect of Hallmark movies? Kathy, what are your thoughts? Well, um, you know, I loved how they brought in the ethnic um, differences in the, um, in the wedding. So um, both, uh, obviously with a, with, um, uh, 
He was in like the traditional yes, bar. Yes, exactly. She was in that very cool. Yes. I mean, like, the 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 outfits and the the clothing were just yeah, like fabulous. very yeah. traditional and and that they went in that direction that was new. I really don't know that I've seen that before in any of yeah. the other Christmas movies and so or in, really any so much and and so that was new for me and 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 I think they did it very well. So it was I I think because they they put it in there um they demonstrated it really well and then it was moved on. And, yeah. and so um, it was a real nice, you know, introduction to that. Um, and then the choreographed wedding dance, um, you know, that it was, it was planned and choreographed. I, I thought that was pretty cool. I don't remember seeing anything like that before. Um, and then um, again, I think I mentioned it before, the fact that they brought the romance and the kisses in the movie earlier um, way earlier instead of just the last five minutes of the show so that you really got to feel that romance blossoming earlier in the movie. That was um, new for me too. So, um, you know, and uh, I was surprised that that Gus never uh, picked up on the fact that they were stealing those those invitations out the of shredded, the, the shredded, out of the shredding file. bin and and using them to you know that that never got back to him <laughs> i am but. so glad you said that because i feel like that was the missing piece is i felt like gus should have fired them i yeah. i really think i think gus should have fired and probably did and they probably had to cut it or something but yeah, that was yeah, funny yeah, yeah so um, good the shredded pile yeah 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 uh. Oh, okay, yeah. Kim, did did you feel like this veered away or was true to the formula? Um, well, I feel that it very much veered away. And, uh, you know, all the feels, if discomfort was one of the feels, then I was feeling it. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, definitely loved the wedding. And I think it's actually, I, I feel like there might have been one other a uh, Hallmark movie so far with an Indian wedding, but it was, uh, mm -hmm. I, I love that. And the set decor during that wedding was uh, fantastic, so. <laughs> yeah, that was lovely for sure. Yeah, I, I don't know that it fit into a typical anything for Hallmark. This was no. just a really departure. There's no small town from the New York and you're gonna go to Vermont with, you know, small town and and with a new teacher or whatever i mean mm -hmm. all of all of almost all of the um typical things that like we we're talking about the festivals the mm -hmm. small town all of that stuff oh the kiss and the um like the end of it like at the last five seconds whatever um those things were not part of this movie so i think this is it's a it's a good departure yeah, you know, I do too. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think I I think they're playing with the formula and they're having fun with it. And I think this was a great example um, of them doing so. The fact that it was, yeah, as you've talked about, but they also didn't cast the executive as being a jerk. You know, right. they didn't, yeah. you know, it, they didn't do the tried and true, you know, overwork, you know, you work too many hours, you need to like, be present you know like i just love that they they really kind of played with some different things yeah. and again i thought that the the dad being the you know um class action suit kind of you know the very accessible lawyer for people who get into auto accidents and all sorts of things you know for the people you know i loved that i loved the class issues that they kind of brought in so but it didn't it was never heavy it was just it was mm -hmm. done in such a way that it was just um really fun really really fun well, so. i think that the idea of um the the girls the the friendship was the most important part yes of no the question you know, and yes. with like for me i have a, a friend that uh, with high school i mean and we're still really close today and i'm like i would love to have more of that 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 because that um friendship just it just um kind of shapes your thought process of yeah. love 
you know, yeah. things like that. So I did love that because, I, and I really thought that those two, two girls were. Yeah. Amazing. Were, yeah. Great yeah. choices. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I never know whether I, I personally don't know the publication swoon, but I had seen that Chris was interviewed by whatever swoon is. So if it's, um, a legitimate publication, they said that Chris was attracted to it because it was a different hallmark thing. Yeah. And I think that's really, I think that's really the case. And, um, mm -hmm. I think it, perf I think it was great role for him. Um, yeah, he did a great job. Yeah. I thought he did a great job too. I think there were, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I definitely felt all the feels from Chris. So that was good. That was good. I love right. that it was different. I love yeah, that it was different right. than that typical, you know, going, buying a Christmas tree, putting it yeah. up and, and yeah. all that stuff. It was, I, I just love that it was so different than all the, the typical MO of, of the movies where you can pretty much at the beginning say, yep, and this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And you didn't have that in this movie. And that right. was great. And I loved that about this movie. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's why you do tend to kind of go on your phone or you're cooking or cleaning yeah. or that because you just have it on as opposed to really being riveted by it. Um, like, you know, even the night before Robert Buckley's movie too, it, it was very fast paced. There was a lot going on. You had to really follow it. So, um, and even in the, the things that they're showing the Christmas charade, I think it is, or caper or something, there's like a, it's like a jewel heist kind of theme. So it does feel like they're really mixing it up. And, um, and I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that, especially when they do it well. It's it's not easy to do these well, and um, they've done the tried and true. So, um, and I think they're for different audiences. Different people are attracted to different things. It wouldn't have been Hallmark had she not had to come come to account for her lie, Kim, and there had to be <laughs> an apology. And so was, true. <laughs> but she also saved him a heck of a lot of money. His company a lot of money. Yes, so, with her expertise. So. There you go. All right. Anything Absolutely. else that we have not covered that you that you need to say? We love you, Chris McNally. I was say, congratulations, Chris. That was it was good. Fabulous. Great opening. I hope you got phenomenal ratings. Coming up, November 9th, we have Santa Tells Me with yeah. Aaron Draco and Dan Lissig. Oh, so excited for that one. Come on. Um, and then um, on, and that one's on the Hallmark channel and then Hallmark move Hallmark mystery. We have um, a reason for the season. This is Thursday, November 14th. And this is Kevin McGarry and Taylor Cole coming up. So that's amazing. But also before we forget Eva Bourne, who used to play Clara on when yeah. called the heart is going to star in what is the name? A nineties Christmas and that's Friday, November 29th. And then um, Max Lloyd-Jones, who played Tom, is coming up on November 28th in Debbie Macomer's Joyful Mrs. Miracle. I'm not sure which of the channels. Oh, if it's a Thursday, it's got to be Hallmark Mystery. Have mm -hmm. I forgotten any? We don't know when Andrea Brooks's Christmas movie. We don't know which network it's going to air on. And it's the cutest name why can I not think of it? It's something she's a weather forecaster. It's yeah. I'll come up with it. Anyway, we'll keep you posted Hardys. Um, have I missed any that we know? I'm sure that there's other yeah. characters in various ones. So um, Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Very important. It was so thank good you. to have you and we'll be thinking of you. Um, we hope you have a, Oh, wait. Kathy is going on the Hallmark cruise. I am. Yes, I am That's going on the cruise. Very quickly, oh, right? Yep. yep. November 3rd, we fly out and then we leave on November 5th. Um, so there's... Uh, uh, Who are the stars that are going to be there? Uh, okay. Oh, gosh. Um, so that was, was that the one that Kevin was supposed to be on, but yeah. now he's not going because he's Brendan on his... Penny's going to be on it instead. Oh, okay. That's so, wonderful. Tyler Hines and, um, the, the movie that just played, he's the right. one that's running after the taxi cab. That ah, guy okay. in that movie. I don't know if you saw that movie, but okay. anyway, and then, um, uh, who else is on there? 
um I I honestly I I'm drawing okay. a blank at the no, moment. No, no, no worries. I'm just of... excited that you're going. We've got we've got a good representation on the Hallmark cruise and then yeah. A lot There's of people are going to from New England. So oh, Carolyn Galgano is oh, going. Okay, great. Uh, and awesome. Cindy Gervais and okay, so you guys Holly will take, I know you'll we can rely on you for coverage of that. Oh, and yeah. then tons of people are going to Kansas City for the yep. weekend when the when yep. all the Ollie's, Ollie's going to that too. Great. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again. And um Hardy's, thank you for tuning in. We're gonna try to keep you excited and entertained in the off season with these amazing Christmas movies and enjoy countdown to Christmas and all of your Hallmark channel and Hallmark mystery movies. And we'll see you next time on heart to hearties.